Hello everyone welcome to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update. This video discussing the latest developments regarding Iraq's accession to the World Trade Organization, WTO. I'm your host, and today we'll be diving into the details of why Iraq's WTO accession package is unlikely to be submitted for adoption until the 14th Ministerial Conference, MC14 in early 2026. As we know, the news from newshound Guru Paulette indicates that Iraq's WTO accession package was clearly not submitted for adoption at the 13th Ministerial Conference, MC13, which has just concluded. Paulette also anticipates that by the time MC14 rolls around in 2026, we may not even care much about this issue anymore. So, let's unpack this situation and understand the implications. Iraq has been working towards WTO accession for many years now, but the process has been slow and complex. Joining the WTO requires a country to bring its domestic laws, regulations, and trade practices in line with the organization's rules and standards. This is no easy feat, and it often takes years of negotiations and reforms before a country is deemed ready to become a full-fledged member. In the case of Iraq, the country has been engaging with the WTO since the early 2000s, shortly after the fall of Saddam Hussein's regime. Iraq has been through the lengthy process of preparing its accession package, which includes detailed information about its trade policies, tariff schedules, and commitments to open up its markets. However, it seems that Iraq has been facing some challenges in finalizing its accession package and getting it ready for submission at MC13. This is not entirely surprising as the WTO accession process can be arduous and requires a significant amount of coordination and cooperation between the applicant country and the existing WTO members. According to Paulette's insights, it's likely that Iraq's accession package will not be ready for adoption until the next ministerial conference, MC14, which is scheduled to take place in early 2026. This means that Iraq's membership in the WTO will be further delayed, at least until the middle of this decade. Now, you might be wondering, why does this matter? Well, the WTO is a crucial global institution that oversees the rules and regulations governing international trade. By becoming a member, Iraq would gain access to the WTO's dispute settlement mechanism allowing it to address trade-related disputes with other member countries. Additionally, WTO membership would open up new opportunities for Iraqi businesses to engage in global trade, potentially boosting the country's economic growth and development. However, Paulette's prediction that by then we really won't care is also worth considering. The global trade landscape is constantly evolving and the priorities of the international community may shift in the coming years. It's possible that by the time Iraq's accession is finally approved, the focus and attention on this issue may have waned, and it may not be seen as a pressing concern for the WTO and its member states. Moreover, the delay in Iraq's accession could also be indicative of broader challenges facing the WTO. The organization has been grappling with a range of issues, from the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on global trade to the ongoing tensions between major economic powers, such as the United States and China. These larger geopolitical factors may be influencing the pace and prioritization of Iraq's succession process. In conclusion, the news about Iraq's WTO accession package not being submitted for adoption at MC13 and the likely delay until MC14 in 2026 highlights the complexities and challenges involved in the accession process. 
While Iraq's membership in the WTO could bring significant benefits, the timing and the level of interest from the international community remain uncertain. As always, it's important to stay informed and keep a close eye on these developments as they unfold. Thank you for watching my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update.